know, is there cause for optimism? The answer is it depends on where you placed your bets. You know, if you placed your bets on uh, uh, male-dominated institutions based on consumer fetishism, propaganda, classism, and materialism, then God help you, you should call your broker. If, on the other hand, uh, you've recognized that a, a lifeboat strategy is involved here, that what is really important is uh, empowering personal experience, backing off from consumer object fetishism, freeing the mind, empowering the imagination, then in that case, I think you can feel pretty good about what is going on. You know, there's a lot of talk about cultural uh, uh, death and disenfranchisement, and it's usually couched in terms of some happy naked people in the rainforest or in Tajikistan making their rugs or milking their camels or something. And isn't it too bad that their culture is being blown up and traded in for mall culture and, uh, and uh, shopping by uh, remote? But in fact, all culture is being destroyed. All culture is being uh, sold down the river to the, by the sorts of people who want to turn the entire planet into an international airport arrival concourse. And that's not the victory of somebody's culture over somebody else's culture. Nobody ever had a culture like that. That's just a cult the victory of schlockmeisterism and crapola over good taste and good sense. Well... If I were um, if I were dependent on the notion that human institutions are necessary to pull us out of the ditch, I would be very despairing. As I said, nobody's in charge. Not the IMF, the Pope, the Communist Party, the Jews. No, no, no. Nobody has their finger on what's going on. So then why hope? Isn't it just a runaway train out of control? I don't think so. I think the out of controlness is the most hopeful thing about it. After all, whose control is it out of? You and I never controlled it in the first place. Why are we anxious about the fact that it's out of control? I think if it's out of control, then our side uh, is winning.